one carpet shop we don't own. And I want the carpet shop! I want the carpet shop! I want the carpet shop! Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. What? What's for dinner? This is Claire. She is the owner of a small carpet shop under threat by the carpet gangsters who want to take it over. Our story centers around Claire's miserable life. Her carpet shop is failing and she's never even had a proper boyfriend. The few friends she has think she has bad BL. She also has a hairy back. It's true, I've seen it. Excuse me, who are you? My name is Matthew and I am the narrator. Well, we don't really need a narrator for this film. I don't really agree with some of the things you're saying. So if you don't mind, goodbye. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, Claire. Morning, Jeff. Hello. Hello. I went fishing at the weekend. Lovely, what did you get? Lots of fish. Mainly. Would you like a cup of tea? What are the ingredients of a cup of tea? Well, it's just some hot water with a tea bag and a bit of milk. No! What are these letters? The bills, Jeff. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do about them all. There's just so many. I have a plan for you, Claire. Manager. Oh, why don't me and you go fishing? Catch lots of mackerel, we can sell it on the market for two pound a fish. Two pound a fish. We can do it, Claire. I will show you how to fish. That's a lovely thought, Jeff, but I don't think we'll make enough money to save the business. But I know a secret to mackerel fishing. What? A secret to mackerel fishing? How do you know about that? You just said. What is it? You get one of them maggots on the end of a stick. You throw it out and say, mackerel, come and get a maggot, tasty maggot. They come and get the maggot. They come and get the maggot. And then you've got all the mackerels, you put them in a the bucket. I see. Where's that music coming from, Claire? That's my song, Jeff. I'm going to sing. Oh. So, you better be getting on. Oh. Well, I better be getting on. Tell her that I love her And will she feel the same? Oh Claire, I love you Be my babe Morning, Claire. Love. Sorry, I'm late. It was the bus. Oh, was it late again? No, I got thrown off for chucking peanuts at the driver. Oh, right. Okay. No customers yet, then? No. 
In my day, we used to have them banging the door down at nine o'clock. Oh, I know, no, but that's all changed now. There's so much competition out there. Look at this flyer what I got this morning. Free fitting, free underlay. How am I supposed to compete with that? What's this? <gasps> I didn't re realise you were in so much debt, Claire Love. You need a sale. That's what you need, Claire Love. You need a sale. You gotta think about things. You gotta think about you need things. Need some of that fluorescent card your mother used to use. You should put an ad in the local paper, Claire Love. That's what oh you do. Oh my God! I can't believe she's still talking. I wonder if Jackass is on tonight. Shut up! Shut up! Can't you tell I've stopped listening? Do you know? I don't even think she's listening now. I am listening, but you're so boring. The trouble with you, Claire, is that you never listen. If you listen to me, Claire, you'd have a much better carpet shop. What you've got to do, Claire? And you see, Claire, love, that is why Tony Blair is no good for us. Claire? Claire? Sorry I'm late. I got on the bus and I realised I left my baby at home. But where is it now? Aunt Bus. Well, don't you think you should go and get it? to buy a carpet. Well, you say that every day, but you never actually buy anything. Have, have you got this one in blue? Everything we have is out. Ooh. Oh, I do love this carpet. I love carpets. They're so wonderfully beautifully good. I'm in love. You might have to start a fight, but you can't cry this time. You have to be scary. Why are you crying? I've got my ice cream. Oh, shut up. Remember what Mum said? If we fill the jar, we can go to Disneyland. Disneyland? Well, come on then. Hello, can I help you? Are you the owner of this carpet shop? I am. I'm Eva. This is my brother Adolf. I'm really sorry. We're going to have to kill you! Why? Because this town isn't big enough for two carpet shops. We need to go to Disneyland. Shh! But I've been in business here for years. I'm not going to argue with you. You see, I have this jar and it's full of ears. And if you don't comply, then your ears will be in it too! If you know what's good for you, you'll let us take your shop. If you will not give it to us, then you'll get the chop. My brother Adolf here is really, really tough. He'll punch you in the face until you've had enough. Give us the shot. Give us the shot. Give us the shot. Give us 
the shop We're the kings of carpets and you really should be scared You take your bloody business so you better be prepared My brother Adolf here will cook you in a pie If you don't obey his orders then you'll make him cry We want the shop We want the shop We want the shop We want the shop You better sign the contract or your life is gonna end Put the pen to paper and you'll gain yourself a friend Look at you behind your desk, you think you're really it Your greasy hair, your stupid clothes and you smell of sh** We'll have the shop We'll have the shop We'll have the shop We'll have the shop Claire, I don't want the carpet shop to close. Neither do I, but I don't have any choice. I went to the property and got my baby back. That's a fire extinguisher. Where were we? I was just about to cry. <laughs> Don't cry, Jeff. You make me cry too. <laughs> <laughs> There's that Christmas party we had. Oh, that, <laughs> that's that time when you dropped your pen. <laughs> See, Clay, you can't give up on this place. You can't touch this. Oh, um, you don't need to see that, Mum. Oh, you love your cheesecake, don't you, Madge? <laughs> oh, no. Have you signed the contract? No, and I'm not going to. Adolf, get the knife. I don't have a knife. What? I have a potato peeler. For goodness sake. Is that cheesecake? Yeah. Can I have some, please? Yeah, all right then. You're killing a thousand people a day? Stop eating cheesecake. Hello, and welcome to Claire's Carpets. Oh! I'm a little old lady with a bus pass and a pension. I push a tot and shopping trolley and I suffer with that tension. I'm gonna surprise you, so you better pay I'm so violent. 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 I'
Claire, but we're trapped! What are we going to do, Claire? What? The narrator can save us! Yes! Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? You didn't want me at the start of the film, but now you're in some difficulty and you want me back. Well, I'm sorry, but no. I'm leaving. Oh, dear. Well, I can see you're very, very sad, Claire, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a story. There was once a little fish called Clarence. And Clarence had lots of friends, lots of friends. His friend's name were Prawn, Whale, Hammerhead Shark. Claire? Claire, I love you. What? What's what the story? Oh. The copy shop's closed. Oh, well, but tied up. You might need to get it to the copy. Well, what's tied up? Sally's here. I know, Jeff. Why are you untying me? She's bringing us, Jeff. No, what? You've got to go and save the carpets. If you're on a haircut, make your face look fat. This is my shop now, so get out. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Oh, oh, oh my back's gone. Oh, my nose. Oh. Oh. Do you know, last time I had a fight like this, I was at school. Oh, yes, yes, I was 14. Oh, I was in the place You're that I boring me to death. No. And do you know Ethel? No. Well, you don't know Ethel, no. but Ethel, she said to me, it's a lot stupid, oh, isn't it? So, so do you know what? I was scared about it. I don't know why, but I was scared when... Oh, look, she's already dead. Well, that about wraps it up then, I guess. Well, it's not a very good ending, is it? No, it's not. It's boring, so I'm going to end on a song. You're much uh, too no, Jeff, young. No, I, I think we should all end on a song that. Turn around Jeff, every now and. I think it should be about. Carpets! Alright then. Carpets, we love carpets. Carpets, we love carpets. Yes, we do, yes, we do, yes, we do. Yes, we do, yes, we do, yes, we do. Baby. What's that ticking noise? That's not a baby! That's a bum! <laughs>